Wellington Boone Live, telling it like it is in a day of change. And now, here's our host, Bishop Wellington Boone. I came back from Vietnam, I started smoking marijuana. And I got with my buddy, he was a CPA. And we'd be up there, and we both lived in these high-rise apartments in Baltimore. And I'm, we're profiling, listening to jazz. I hate jazz. I don't like it. I like the beat. I, you know, I like, I like move on beat. I don't like, you know, anyway. But I, we'd be in there. We'd be getting high. We'd be smoking, man. And we'd be saying, oh, man, that's killer. Mm. Well, now we'd be talking about maybe philosophy or something. We'd be talking. And then after, after I get through taking about the third hit, I'd say, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I mean, I was losing my memory while I was getting high. And now they tell you, man, like this stuff is good for you. That nonsense. The guys that passed those laws are the guys that used to get high when I used to get high. That's those congressmen. They're doing that. Same thing with the gamblers, all that stuff they're passing. Look, Delaney and the NBA got in trouble for fixing the basketball games. Remember the referee? Now they just passed a law saying they can gamble on basketball. They're gambling on golf. I mean, like, I mean, you can go to any category. I mean, it's, just, it's just like crazy. I've said that about alcohol. We sell, the government sells alcohol and then creates an alcohol agency to help you with counseling as an alcoholic. You stop faking people out. You're going to go to hell over it. And whoever is responsible for the force of getting those laws and whoever compromised the standards when they knew better, all of you are going to stand before God in the great day. And man, is this one thing I'm realizing, the greatness and hugeness and power of the almighty God. Listen, I can tell you right now, just in the eternity realm, you cannot define almightiness in light of who God is. Because he existed before words. <laughs> and so no word can actually define how powerful, almighty Self-existing? That's where I'm going to start at, over here in Genesis 1. Okay. Again, my Father, I thank you again for the revelation of your word, for the things that you want to show us that will give us the impetus to stop just looking at things as it benefits us, but as it benefits you. Don't let one person under the sound of my voice die and this body stops functioning before, number one, they become born again. Number two, they find their destiny. Number three, that they leave a legacy that, that takes the next generation to you. And number four, that gets them with a competency to function in the next world. And Lord, I thank you so much for helping us. And Lord, I'm praying that the greatness of God would be so clear to them tonight by the power and unction of the Holy Spirit that no challenge in the earth, nothing in the natural is worthy of them. That they will be so victorious in their thinking and their ability to deal with the challenges of life. It will be amazing to them how you've gotten them to be so much like you. And in advance, we give you glory for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. You know, I wanted to take my phone out. Well, take a picture of my markings. In the first four chapters and put those up on the screen because I don't want to outline it. I want you to see the scripture itself in terms of what it says. But of course, you can look at your own Bible and see it. I even want you to see my markings. Again, let me underscore this thing about eternity training. And I mentioned this in John three twenty four. I made this statement the last time right from here. That eternal life equals eternal living. You are living in a temporary body, but on an eternal level. Now, I guarantee you that most of us don't know what that is because it's being unveiled to us. It's being revealed to us. God is showing us how to live as he is. Now, there's some scriptures that is just totally obscure to us. Like, let me give you one. As he is, so are we in this world. Now, deal with that. Bishop Wellington Boone, telling it like it is in a day of change. Visit our website at wellingtonboone.com.